How's it going everyone? King Blattooth here and first I'd like to apologise for not putting up any videos over the last couple of days as well as missing yesterday's stream but a lot of my time has been taken up by this project which I was quite passionate about so you know you get lost in it a bit and it took a lot of effort too. So when Gwen showed us his, its game board a lot of the complaints were that it doesn't look anything like the Witcher 3 Gwen board. It looks a lot more cartoony and you know people didn't like it. And although I think a lot of people have warmed up to this new Gwent board, I actually like it. It has been a, a passion and a project that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Modding a Witcher 3-esque kind of Gwent board. So I had a lot of trouble just porting Gwent uh, from the Witcher 3 into this because the resolution was different. Things looked very messy. The UI elements are in different places. So I ended up having to just draw the whole thing myself. Apart from a couple of metal bars which I took from the original Gwent the Witcher card game. The standalone one, I mean. So it took me a long time, but I've I've come to a point where I'm happy to share it with you. And, you know, you could probably keep improving it. But I think it just shows a bit of a precedent that in the future, if, if CD Projekt Red do not start to stylize different boards and allow you to change your boards out, then people can mod it. And you can take this quite a long way. You could mod uh, the, the font. You could mod the sides. You can mod a lot of things. So I think it... Um, definitely gives a precedent for the future on down the line modding game boards is going to be something which I think a lot of people would like. It would allow you to customize your, your gaming experience quite well in a very maybe Squirtel esque themed game board or a tavern themed game board or monsters. You know how it can be. So uh, I'm happy to show you this with you. Hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. So this is the Gwent mod where I've modded the game board to look a little bit more Witcher 3 in theme. Now I do think that I failed to make it look like the Witcher 3, uh, which was the initial idea. But I'm happy with the way it looks and I've sunk a lot of hours into it. So um, we'll see how the reception is before we go any further. Um, let's just, just keep, keep going. And I'll talk over what, what kind of things I was looking at and, and stuff. But bear in mind that I had to... Uh, I had to spot. draw all of this myself, apart from these metal bars, which come from Gwent, the Witcher card game. Everything else was drawn by me. Um, oh, and the coin, of course. All these over little bits. But generally, it's supposed to just be like a taverny wooden style. Now, it was supposed to initially be the Witcher 3, which I tried to model this bit on. You can see. Because um, Witcher 3's got this kind of like pattern going on. But uh, this kind of got lost when I needed to move on the outside a little bit more. But uh, I'm happy with the way it looks. Now, one thing that I really enjoy is these things up here. I've got orans there, some cards, as well as a Witcher medallion. And you could probably, you know, improve the way the board looks around these areas by adding a bit more detail. Now, I didn't want to really put detail here because it is used quite a bit, you know, with this. But this, this area is not used, so I was happy with that. And I think you could just ramp this up a lot if you're a particular artist where you make it look more like a tavern, you know, make the wood planks look a little bit more defined, have beer stains and spills and stuff going on, which makes it look a bit more interesting. We cut out several of the important UI elements, like your names down here, the crown, because we got rid of the, uh, the banners, you know, the coin and your decks and stuff, and this section here. And so... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it's gone, um, but I think it could definitely be improved if you want to do that. I will make it available on request. Um, I'm not really going to link it at the minute because I haven't written down the instructions on how to install it. And if I do make it available, I'm not going to take any responsibility for anything, of course. You know, any glitches in, in thing, but you would just be able to undo it by replacing the file again. But thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. I, I would appreciate any feedback on the mod at all. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks, guys. Take care.